This is my latest, uh, I call it a test bench motor. Got two drive coils in the uh, propulsion mode and two generating coils of light wire with a couple of rectifiers. You see the two generating coils and the two rectifiers. Presently, I've got a scope on those, and the scope is up here looking like this. And the, we can see the neons are protecting the transistors. They're across the, the cathode and the emitter. This machine is being triggered by a magnetic reed switch. Just a little two piece of metal inside of a, a little glass tube. I found that placing this magnet up here in this configuration offset the magnets that are flying right out here about uh, and it looks in the film maybe three eighths of an inch from the edge. They're round magnets the same size as this. Somehow that's offsetting their effect on the reed and making the machine run much smaller. This particular magnet, just an experimental development. Again, over here, magnets assist in the generating coils. They actually speed up the motor and uh, reduce current draw by countering some of the magnetic effects going on between the coils and the, and the magnets in the flywheel. The flywheel has five magnets behind the safety tape right now. So you can see I have two transistors, NPNs, one for each drive coil, and they are, they're just teamed, so it's actually doubling the uh, current carrying capacity across the uh, base. Main concern, heavier wire here in the uh, energizing coils was going to cause a heavier current draw. Although the unique thing is that we don't see a lot of current draw. My one current meter didn't show any current draw at all from the battery over here which is a 12 volt 7 amp hour battery. Just give it a couple of more looks here and um, then we'll shut down. What we're seeing here on this meter over here is the uh, back EMF that's being created across the emitter across that coil, the drive coils, and there's a there's a diode there coming off the emitter and then the other end of the meter is attached to the collector. And a quick pan over here to a drawing, which is relatively speaking is what the uh, schematic looks like. Not precisely but pretty close. I had collected the back EMF in this capacitor here and within just fractions of a second the capacitor is charged to 160 something volts of, of uh, energy but again we only see from the diode we see this 18 showing up 